than just a number. Consequences versus probability. Zero is really good and 10 is uh, a really bad day for the dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> so recently, a 2024 YR4 has been in the news. So it's green, yellow, orange, red. Where we want to stay out of is the red zone of 8, 9, and 10, because those are the levels where you are certain of an impact. And uh, YR4, if it uh, if it misbehaves, uh, it would go all the way up to 8 on the Trino scale. That would be its maximum. Okay. We saw that it, it had a 1.3% chance of hitting us. What does that mean, if that number is given? When you discover an asteroid, um, you know, you're only seeing a tiny piece of the orbit. Um, as uh, as it's moving through space. And so, you know, we'd like to project forward, uh, you know, extrapolate that position, um, you know, for decades, if not centuries into the future, just to make sure that it's not going to intersect with the Earth. And we do that for every asteroid that's discovered. He didn't say slam into Earth and kill us all. Intersect. Just intersect. Right. It's a very dispassionate word. Oh, without a doubt. It. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. So we do it for every asteroid. We, you know, every time we discover an asteroid, we'd like to make sure that we know that one's on the good list and not on the naughty list. And, um, you know, in this case, we know this asteroid in the year 2032. And in fact, every four years, it comes uh, somewhere near the Earth. But we uh, find in 2032, um, it's going to come uh, close to the Earth, probably about as close as the moon or closer. And we simply don't have enough precision um, in terms of how well we know where that asteroid is precisely going to be in 2032 or other decades in the future to know for sure that it's going to miss the Earth. And so because we know, because we can't say we're certain it's going to miss, it gets a probability of, uh, of intersecting the Earth. So that's just simply where we are. It's, it's really that that probability number is really a measure of you know, what we don't know, it's not, not a measure of what we know, it's what we don't know, because we simply haven't been able to track this thing for very long. Here's something that might be new to Chuck. Were you able to get a pre-discovery image of this asteroid? When we discover an asteroid that has some future uh, chance of intersecting with the Earth, uh, one of the tricks we can do is go back and see if it's shown up on uh, in uh, images that we've taken of asteroid searches, you know, many years before. Because if we can find it, like we, we, that it was someone accidentally saw it four years ago but didn't measure it, um, that gives us another four years of an orbital length that we can use to calculate forward. And so uh, these are called pre-discovery images. And uh, I know people have been searching the records for pre-discovery images to get a longer track.